What's up everyone and welcome to a new dime bag related tone and gear video. If you've seen my previous ones, you might have seen that I've done videos with like the older Randall amplifiers that dime bag used to have like the the RG100 and uh, you know Warhead X2 crank Krankenstein for instance and uh, you know trying to follow dime bag and its tones basically. Today I'm kind of focusing on trying to nail Dimebag's tone by using, you know, small equipment that is available today. I have to give a little shout out to my good buddy Frank in Melbourne, Australia for uh, letting me know about this small little secret of his. Frank showed me when I was over at this place checking out all these amazing Dimebag guitars, how he set up his uh, Horizon Devices Apex preamp through his 50... no, PVXXX amplifier and it sounded kick-ass. So as soon as I got home, I went to pick up my own uh, Apex preamp from storage and uh, this is the rig that I've done right here which is basically the Apex preamp as the preamp distortion the TC Electronics Mimic Mini it would be instead of the MXR doubler that Dimebag was using but here in this chain the sound is going through this doubler into a power amp while Dimebag uses MXR doubler to split up his tone into a separate effects loop and power amp and cabinet so we basically had a stereo power amp and cabinet setup but right here since uh, we're going for small this is just going to try and replicate that doubling effect going on right there last but not least we have this Seymour Duncan power stage power amp which is a solid state amplifier and as you can see it has a free band EQ so the good thing about this is that you basically have one two three four five six different EQs because they all work in different areas or different frequencies so it's basically like a six band EQ which is nice so yeah the power amp goes into my Hesu 2x12 cabinet this is a M160 microphone and uh, I need a guitar obviously so let me get this yeah. all right so let's go I'm ready uh, are you ready uh <laughs> So what is going on here? So the cool thing with the Apex preamp, by the way, I made a video of this preamp so you can check it out on my YouTube channel. But the cool thing about the preamp here is that it has a noise gate, which is very much needed when you're using a lot of gain like this. But it's nice to see the noise gate in here because that means that you don't need an external separate noise gate outside the signal chain. And uh, obviously I'm using gain that's very important to have but I'm not using the tight mode which the uh, Apex preamp has that's a great sound and makes it uh, tight and nice but you want that low end growl So as you can see I have pretty low mid actually Okay, volume, something like this, uh, bass Something I noticed with the Seymour Duncan power stage is that it has a lot of, you know, low mid bass The bass on the Apex works uh, just a tiny bit higher on the frequency range than the on the power stage. So work them together. <laughs> now 
Now the mid on the, let me put this into 12 o'clock there. Treble wise, on the Seymour Power, <laughs> Seymour Duncan Power stage, the treble is a little bit higher. It's not like presence high when it comes to the frequency range, but it's much higher than the treble on the Apex preamp, which makes it a little bit more harder uh, sound. Uh, so check this out. <laughs> While the treble on the Seymour Duncan works a little bit higher, so... Also, I'm using this mower power bank. It's basically like a power bank for pedals. So I'm powering the Apex and the uh, TC Electronics Mimic right here with this little power bank. So let's try out the Mimic doubler. It sounds pretty good as it is, but Dimebag usually had somewhat of that doubling effect going on, which sounded almost like a slight chorus. And uh, even though I can't really mimic that... Oh, that's funny. This pedal is called Mimic. It's mimicking the Mimic. Even though I'm not really gonna be able to get that effect without using a uh, separate power amp and cabinet or a stereo power amp and cabinet section it will get us closer at least so this is how it sounds when I engage it <laughs> It's much more apparent when you play chords or do solos or stuff like that. So it has a little bit of an effect which kind of gives it a some sort of broadness to it. You have to be really careful not to use the Mimic too much because otherwise it will... Oh, I've been covering the dB meter all the time with my Zelda cup. Sorry. Mmm. It's good coffee though. You just be a little bit careful how much of that doubling effect you get because if you use too much it will just sound weird and you know, out of facey kind of. <laughs> So it sounds real good, and right now it's pretty loud. There's plenty more volume to go with this. Oh, yeah. 
That's pretty fucking loud. That's, I should be careful, actually. Yeah, that's it. Sounds pretty kick ass, I must say. It's like people are gonna complain that, yeah, it doesn't sound like Dimebag. Well, this is pretty f close for not using any Randall gear or any of the MXR blue EQs or the PQ4 or whatever. This is pretty close, I must say. And I'm just happy to find a solution that do not incorporate a shit ton of uh, expensive gear. Because obviously, like the Dimebag gear that Dimebag used, the PQ4 and the blue MXR and the Randalls, they are way overpriced on eBay right now. So I'm just trying to give yourself an easier method right here. You can, I mean, I'm not saying that this is a, a cheap preamp, but it's at least it's available. You can buy it new. Singles with this, singles with this. So this, these are new stuff that you can buy on Amazon. Oh, I have links to the Amazon down there. If you have any suggestions regarding something dime related that you want me to record or film, let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you haven't subscribed already, I urge you to do that. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.